Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Class 131. Let's go! Beginner. Hello, friends, and welcome to class number 131. Now, today we will begin with a review of Friday's class. That is, class number 130. And in the last class, we were practicing with want. And so, questions. I said, ask me, pregúntame, ask me, and all questions with want, if I want, if he wants, if she wants, if they want, if we want, if the government wants, if it wants, if the boss wants. Okay, so ask me if I want a hamburger for dinner. Kyle, do you want a hamburger for dinner? Hmm, sure, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I want a hamburger for dinner. Yeah. Ask me if I want to take a vacation next month. Kyle, do you want to take a vacation next month? Yes. I would like to. Yes, I want to take a vacation next month. Ask me if my brother wants to visit Spain soon. Kyle, does your brother... Want to visit Spain soon? Yes. My brother wants to visit Spain soon. Ask me if I want to improve my Spanish. Kyle, do you want to improve your Spanish? Yes, I do. Yes, I want to improve my Spanish. Ask me if Fitz wants to go home next Christmas to Ireland. Kyle, does Fitz want to go home to Ireland next summer? Or next Christmas, excuse me. Yes, Fitz wants to go home to Ireland next Christmas. Ask me if Layla wants to visit Italy soon. In both alta. Kyle, does Layla want to visit Italy soon? Yes. Layla wants to visit Italy soon. Ask me if I want it to rain tomorrow. Kyle, do you want it to rain tomorrow? No, I don't want it to rain tomorrow. Do you want it to rain tomorrow? No, I don't want it to rain tomorrow. Ask me if I want the airlines to lower the prices on their flights to Canada. Ask me if I want the airlines, the airlines, to lower the prices on their flights to Canada. Kyle, do you want the airlines to lower the prices on their flights to Canada? Yes, I do. I would like it. It would be nice. Yeah. All right. Now, the next thing that we saw in the last class was our translation list. Translation. Yes, friends, it is time for translation list number 43. So as always, como siempre, as always, I will read the sentences in Spanish. And I would like you to translate them into English. Number one. Déjalo aquí en la mesa. Leave it here. On the table. Leave it here on the table. Number two. No dejes tus cosas en el suelo. Por favor. Don't leave your things on the floor. Yeah. Don't leave your things on the floor. Number three. Déjame hacerlo. Let me do it. Let me do it. Déjame hacerlo. Let me do it. Number four. 
Déjame verle. Déjame verle. Let me see him. Let me see him. Number five. Déjame intentarlo. Let me try. Let me try. Number six. Yamala. Yamala. Very simple. Imperative. Call her. Call her. She wants to talk to you. Call her. Do you think I should call her? Yes. Call her. Okay, I'll call her. Llámame desde tu oficina. Number seven. Llámame desde tu oficina. Call me from your office. Call me from your office. Number eight. Déjame llamarles. Let me call them. Let me call them. Hmm. Number nine. Hable despacio, por favor. Speak slowly, please. Speak slowly. Please, por favor, hable despacio, por favor. Speak slowly, please. Now, notice I'm not saying a uh, slowly. No, speak slowly, please. Number 10. Siéntate en aquella silla. Sit in that chair. En aquella silla. Sit in that chair. Number 11. Siéntate. Siéntate. Sit down. Sit down. Siéntate. Number 12. Levántate. Levántate. Get up. Get up. Okay, we've seen a lot of imperatives here. Leave it here on the table. And then the negative, don't leave your things on the floor. Déjame hacerlo. Let me do it. Déjame verle. Let me see him. Déjame intentarlo. Let me try. Now, remember, let me do it. Let me see him. Let me try. Remember, this is very important. Let is never followed by two. Okay? We can say, allow me. Permitirme or allow me, allow me to help you. Or let me help you. Pero let tú no se dice, okay? No se puede decir eso. Let me help you. Let me do it. Let me to do it? No. Allow me to do it, okay? Or let me do it. Déjame verle. Let me see him. Let me to? No. Let me see him. Déjame intentarlo. Let me try. Déjame llamarles. Let me call them. Let me call them. Okay, now this was a review. A review of yesterday's material. So hopefully, hopefully, you've done well on this translation list. Let's move on now. And practice with our word of the day. Word of the day. All right, it is time for the word of the day. Our word of the day today is edad, which is age. Age. His age. How old is he? What is his age? But how old is he is the typical way to ask for a person's age. Age. Edad. But the age can also be, for example, the ice age. Or when we're referring to a period of time. The modern age. The prehistoric age. Mm -hmm. The age. So now, edad, age. A-G-E. And that's our word of the day. Age. Okay. Now... I have to remember to talk about something. 
What do I have to remember to talk about? Oh, yes. Remember. Yes, I have to remember to talk about the verb to remember. Hmm. So remember, seguido de tu, remember to infinitive. Okay? So, acuérdate de hacer no sé qué. Remember to do whatever. Hmm. I have to brush my teeth. Tengo que lavarme los dientes. Lavarme, disculpa. Tengo que lavarme los dientes. Well, remember to brush your teeth. I have to, I have to brush my teeth. Kyle, remember to brush your teeth. Okay, don't forget. Remember to do that. I have to finish my report. Tengo que terminar mi informe. Pues acuérdate de terminar tu informe. Remember to finish your report. Acuérdate de hacer lo que sea. Remember to finish your report. Tengo que ir de compras. Acuérdate de ir de compras. Acuérdate de ir de compras. Remember to go shopping. Yes. Oh, I have to pay the rent. Remember to pay the rent. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have to fix my watch. It's broken. I have to fix my watch. Kyle, remember to fix your watch. Okay. Remember to infinitive. To remember. Essentially, acordarse de. To remember on its own. Okay. Remember is internal okay to remember is really um, the idea of bringing something into your memory or holding something in your memory it's internal it's in your head it's in your memory and remind in a moment we will talk about remind which is to help someone to remember or to help someone not forget remind me to call her Hey, Kyle, call her. Don't forget, call her. Okay. So, remind and remember. Hmm. Okay. So, when we're referring to something we shouldn't forget to do, we use remember plus infinitive. Okay. Yes. I have to remember. I have to remember to buy food. I have to remember to buy milk. Yes. Huh. Luckily, I remembered to buy milk. But I didn't remember to buy eggs. Hmm. Did you remember to talk to your English teacher? Did you remember to study? Did you remember to do your homework last night? I hope so. Hmm. No me acuerdo de su nombre. I can't remember her name. Hmm. Yeah. Me cuesta recordar sus cumplean los cumpleaños. I have trouble remembering. We say, I have trouble remembering. Me cuesta. I have trouble remembering birthdays. It's true. Okay, we'll talk about remind in just a moment. But first, let's move on and look at our vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it's time for the vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. De todos modos. Anyway. Anyway. We say. Consecuencias. We say, consequences, consequences. Todo. Todo is everything, everything. Excelente. Excelente. Excellent. Excellent. And finally, justo. Tiene que ser justo. You have to be fair. Fair. Yes, justo. We say, fair. Okay, now we have to remind. 
Okay? To remind is essentially to help someone remember. So imagine, you have to tidy your desk. You have to clean your desk. So you can ask your friend, please, remind me, remind me to tidy my desk. Now, you have to speak to your boss. Oh, please, what would you say? Remind me to speak to my boss. You have to send a letter. So you tell your friend, please, I can't, I can't forget that. So please remind me to send the letter. Mm -hmm. You have to call your girlfriend, but you might forget. So, so you ask your brother, hey, please remind me to call my girlfriend. Okay, yes. Remind, yes. Now we also say, ah, you remind me. So someone can remind you of someone else. You remind me of my mother sometimes. The way you talk, you remind me of my mother. Yeah. And my mother always reminds me to wear my seatbelt. Yeah. She always says, Kyle, remember to wear your seatbelt. When she says that, she says, Kyle, remember to wear your seatbelt. When she says that, she is reminding me to wear my seatbelt. Ah, this book I have reminds me of one I had a year ago. Yes, it reminds me of an old one, of one I had a year ago. So to remind, to help someone remember, I leave notes. I leave notes in my, in my house for me to remind me to do things. Because otherwise, I would forget. Without the notes, I would forget. So I leave notes to remind me, to help me remember, to remind me to do things. Okay. Now, in case I forget... There are a lot of people here in the studio who will remind me to talk about remind and remember tomorrow. Don't worry, I won't forget. I will remember to review this topic, remind and remember. Okay, but in case I do forget, someone here in the studio will remind me, I'm sure. Okay, I have to take a break. I'll be back in a few minutes with the intermediate portion of the class. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>